I'm a sort of an eternal fan. I'd rather be over here looking at it because it seems like I can project more onto it. I like things just out of reach or just out of touch. Keeps it spiritual as opposed to material to me. I was the same age as, uh, as uh, Basquiat and Keith Haring, and by the time I arrived in New York, it seemed like they were already like taking the Concord with Grace Jones. What the fuck was I supposed to do? I make stuff out of like wood and burnt matches somehow. Like at that time, I was making crazy stuff that was meant to look like it was made in prison somehow. That was my aesthetic. I was on my way to the studio in Times Square. It's 1990, and uh, Times Square was now being urban renewed. Times Square that I sort of inhabited was the Times Square of Taxi Driver, and it was gritty, and people it was horrible, and gross, and fantastic. And then they started to close down all the theaters, close down, board up all the buildings, and they started to bring the letters and the signage to the salvage place that was right by my place in the Lower East Side. One day I walked by, and there's a crate full of letters. There's something great about letters, you know, like and to have them here as opposed to up there, like in front of me. And I wrote the word stay. Another dealer uh, came to the studio, and that was on the wall. Do you mind if I uh, offer to a client of mine? And uh, I said, yeah, no, it's, uh, I love it. $1,500 would be a good price. I'm smart enough to, like, I also come from this old flea market aesthetic of, like, you can buy cheap, sell big. Uh, you know, I went back and bought all the letters that I could. I mean, there are people that ask me, like, oh, did you ever go to art school or think I'm self-taught or my work is so, like, homespun and on a certain level naive that people tend to end at, like, oh, it's so real and emotional, but, you know, I think it deals with sort of anti-spectacle and a surface spectacle and a theater that takes place inside a gallery that, that um, you know, gets discussed in theory. Taking portraits was something I could do by the time I got to New York, like, oh, I'd like to make a picture of you. I like the ability to really study someone. And, you know, when you have the camera, it gives you that possibility. And again, with being a fan, you know, I'm a voyeuristic sort of person that likes to be able to look. You know, and I had this snapshot aesthetic that was very real and very, like, sort of immediate and raw. It wasn't like fashion, it was like real. So, like, they could send me off with Naomi Campbell, and, like, I brought back pictures that looked real. I mean, I've always been a person that's fairly promiscuous with media and what I'm willing to do. Like, I make words, I make things, I make pictures, you know. It's, it's, it's still all in there, the same thing. I just, to keep myself interested, do it differently. I might be even more advanced in my career at this point if I like stuck to a vision and completed a series of paintings that were always this and like you knew what I was building on, but I tend to be a person that's like, this will be great, I'm gonna give it a shot. And I do that, you know, I've been doing that now for 25 years. 